Things change, Kelly. Believe me. Get used to it. I... I won't hound you anymore. You do make that girl cry. What have you done to make Kelly cry that you way? Just relax. I didn't do anything. Little Lolita of Landview is stuck to me like glue, all right? And when I said that I wanted to go buy my yacht alone and in peace, she got all huffy. So it's, it's not my fault. Yacht. I already have a yacht. I know. Wanted one of my own. His, hers. Kind of cute. Deal with it. Deal with this. I will not have you depleting my bank account as if you were bailing out water from some leaky lifeboat. And I will not have you being boorish with my niece and hurting her feelings. I care about that girl. I don't want you playing knock hockey with her emotions. You care. You. Oh, insult me all you want. Well, I usually do. But this is still my house. If you insist on blackmailing me, and if you insist on this charade of a marriage, I must insist that you abide by my rules. One, you are to stay away from Kelly. She's far too impressed by you to be objective, and you would be a disastrous influence on a girl that young, too. You will not buy a yacht. You know, for such a smart woman, you can be so obtuse. You don't call the shots here, Lamekins. All I have to do is drop that diary in the wrong hands. You go right back to death row. All you have to do is try to act like a human being. I don't think you know the whole story, Dorian. Tina's dating again. Ah! Oh, quiet! From what I hear, the guy's a real Greek god, and I hold you personally responsible for me losing the only woman that I ever truly loved. So I therefore see no choice but for me to numb my pain with material analgesics. And if I want to buy a toy to console myself, I will buy said toy. You will not buy a yacht. And you will stay away from Kelly. Well, I could hardly meet you after class, since I didn't go today. You didn't... You didn't even go. Forget it. You know what? You know, I hope you flunked that next test. What's with you? I skipped one class. I had to. Uncle David was desperate. He needed somebody to help him buy his new yacht. What? Heard me. He needed my expertise because of my days on the Côte d'Azur. You know? I'm really up on my yacht. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, we will, we will reschedule for tomorrow, all right? Call me. Unless, of course, uh, you know, Uncle David have a, an appearance with the Pope. I'm telling the truth here, mister. I don't need your smart... Hello? Yeah. You are so disgusting. Uh, you have... Oh. Hi. Was that a boy you were talking to? Most definitely a boy. He doesn't get it. Get what? Say stupid. Who needs boys? Give me men. Like Uncle David. He appreciates me. Oh. Kelly! I think it's time we had a heart-to-heart -heart talk about Uncle David. How come you want to talk about Uncle David? Well, there's just been certain things, like you're saying that Uncle David appreciates you. Yeah, he does. I see. Well, if he appreciates you so much, why are we so upset after you were talking to him? Kelly, did he say something to hurt your feelings? No. That was no biggie. David just sort of wanted to get rid of me so he could be alone and think. And I didn't get the hint, but he apologized. Everything's cool. In fact, ever since then, he has been incredibly nice. Uh -huh. Kelly, I think it would be better for all of us if maybe you were to keep your distance from Uncle David. Why? Unfortunately, since marrying David, I have found out that he is emotionally unstable. 
up and down. He's very moody. He's passionate. Passion is gorgeous. Well, sometimes that passion um, makes him a little erratic. Erratic? Erratic. Volatile. What you see with David is not always what you get. You can form as well. We. I guess I have seen him be a little moody from time to time. Yes, so, coming it all up, I think it would be much better for everybody if you were to um, let things be a little cooler between you and David. Hmm? I don't get it. Okay, are you saying that David is, like, dangerous? so cool. I, I mean, I bet you did. We Kramer women, we probably gravitate to these men who have dark souls. You, me, cousin Blair and her husband Todd. You may be right. In that case, all of us would be better off if we watched our step. Here. Let's take out our knees. The pink stuff in the middle is really good. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I'll pass. Thank you. Um, Aldorian. How come you're saying all that stuff about David? You don't think like I'm involved with him, do you? Oh, I know you would never do something like that. It's just that I don't think you should get too close to David. Otherwise, he might get hurt when he has one of his moods. Oh, right. I just want you to be happy. The way I'm happy, having you live here with me. You see, this place is so great. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and don't worry. I mean, if you want me to stay away from David... It is what I want. Thank you. Hello, David. Hello, Peaches. How's it going, Kelly? Fine. Thanks. Excuse me. Why Kelly run off like that? Let's just say she's been warned about you. What does that mean? David, you may be able to make me suffer. You've got that diary. You can blackmail me into supporting you so you can live like a king. But now, you will not be able to hurt Kelly. You're suffering? I was just down at Rhodey's watching Tina hang all over the guy that she just picked up. I am the one that's suffering, Dorian. Because you would not give me a divorce when I still had a chance at Tina. Get over it. I'm warning you. You stay away from Kelly. Well, as of now... She doesn't want anything to do with you. Hello? Dorian. It's... 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 Blair. Blair? What's the matter? Where are you? I'm in my place. Please. Can you go right away? Please. Of course, I'll be right over. Dorian? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Come on. Clara, what's happened? Come on in. He knows everything. It's over. Tom knows everything. It's over. Where is he? I don't know. It's, it's worse than I ever, I ever thought. I saw a uh, side of Todd that I even I didn't even know existed. Look. Look where he grabbed me. Blair. What did he do to you? Corb was here and he he finally helped me see that I I really did love Todd, so I hugged him. To thank him. And that's when Todd walked in? Yes. And Cord and I tried to explain what had happened, but he wouldn't listen. Todd just stormed out of here. And then when he came back, I tried to explain to him that I really did love him. And? Oh, my God. And then Chet Sims called. He's the attorney that I contacted about maybe getting, hopefully, be able to get control of Melador before the divorce. Oh, shoot. So we heard the whole message there on the machine. And so I, he just kept on going about the options and how I was trying to get control and blah, 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 oh, blah, blah and Dorian. Oh, my God. We said some really rotten things to each other. What? Then he hit you? No. 
He, he threw me down on the bed. No, no, no. He didn't go through with it. He stopped. Oh, my God. My God, I was so scared. I hurt him so much. He was just trying to get back at me. He was trying to hurt me the only way that he knew how. to provoke him. There is nothing, listen up, that a woman can do or say or wear that makes her deserve to be raped. Rape is an inexcusable act of violence. And a rapist is a rapist. And I don't care if Todd stopped. He is still a rapist. Now, I want you to act quickly and protect yourself. Oh, hell! Well, for one thing, Come on, I want you to call a locksmith and get those locks changed. Then I want you to get on the phone, call Chet Sims again. Tell him that you want to strike first and you want to strike just hard. Wait a minute. Make sure wait, that hard. Just wait a minute. Maybe Tom and I should just slow down, back off each other for a minute. We've hurt each other so much. Where? You know whose fault all of this is, don't you? It's Max Holden. I was about to have everything I ever wanted. Power, money, a family, and I who adored me. Now I have nothing. God, maybe if I could just get Todd back. You got that. You hear me? It's over, all right? And you're better off for it. For God's sake, what kind of a man decides to punish a woman by using his penis as a weapon? A sick, sick man. Like Todd, with a lot of violence deep inside of him that is going to come out one way or another. I want to know. I was married to that sicko, his father, Victor Lord. Now, you listen to me. I know you're scared, so I want you to come home with me. No, Dorian, I'm staying here. I no. want you to come no. home. Do you hear no. me? No. No. I'm Fine. Stay I'll stay here with you. No. You are going home. I am going to Fine. I'm fine, Dorian. I promise you that I will lock the doors. Call a locksmith. I will call a locksmith. Here. You change those locks. Don't you change your mind. I won't. I love you. Thank you so much for everything. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Go home. 